Hello friends, this video on environmental issues part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we are going to talk about the last environmental issue that is deforestation. Now as I mentioned before also that deforestation comes out to be a cause for many other problems because when deforestation takes place that is when we cut down too many forests what happens is the level of carbon dioxide gets altered in the atmosphere which in turn causes several other problems. It can also impact the habitat. I mean it can also result in water pollution or soil pollution so it is a cause of many other environmental issues but if this in itself is an environmental threat so let us see what is deforestation what causes this and how can we control deforestation so what is deforestation as we already know it is the permanent destruction or conversion of forest areas for other purposes now why do we cut down I mean in masses of trees why do we destruct forests so what are these other purposes that we are talking about so these other purposes could be agriculture maybe in order to feed such a big population we need more land to produce more crops so what do we do is we cut down the forest areas and use the same area for cultivating crops which are useful and edible for us so agriculture could be one purpose furniture making could be another purpose now again since the population is increasing everybody needs to build houses they need furnitures so for that purpose it is required now when they need houses they also need to establish their houses so residential establishments now it happens so many times that uh, even in cities these days you would often see that uh, uh, remote parts of big cities which are getting overpopulated so those remote areas in, in near those cities the remote areas are also being converted into big residential plots or big a uh, big uh, huge stretch of apartments so that it can provide houses to the people so it could also be utilized for setting up industries or factories so industry or factory setup so for that purpose also we might evacuate a large stretch of land by cutting down the trees. So many such reasons give rise, for many such reasons deforestation takes place. So industrial setup or residential establishment or agriculture. So let us talk about deforestation specifically in India. So if you talk about India, we, we will see that the deforestation has drastically increased in the last couple of years. So if you look at the uh, look at this graph which tells how much of the area was covered by forests in India. So what you will see is almost 30% of the entire area, 30% of the land was covered by forests. So here this green area denotes forests. So almost 30% was covered by forests uh, in the beginning of the 20th century. But if you look at the same graph at towards the end of the 20th century, what happened was the percentage reduced to around 19%. So that means in one century, the area of, or the land covered by forests has reduced by this much. From 30%, it came down to 19%. So there is a policy which has been put into place called National Forest Policy which says that around 33% forest cover should be present on the plains that is on the plain areas and on the hilly areas the forest cover should be around 67%. So if you compare these figures with that percentage as per National Forest Policy so they are very less. Now what happens when we destruct the forest now when we are cutting down so much of forest we are first of all we are spoiling or destructing the entire forest ecosystem so it is not only the plants which are there in the forests plants as well as insects animals birds so we are actually snatching away home or snatching away habitat from so many animals and birds so deforestation is not at all good for the entire ecosystem so not only ecosystem but for the entire environment as such so let us quickly look at the causes and control of deforestation so causes of deforestation the first and foremost cause is overpopulation because deforestation is a human activity it is caused by human beings and human beings do this for their own benefit and why do they need more houses more crop production more industries more factories that's because their number is increasing very very fast 
So it is very important that the problem of overpopulation is handled in a better way. Even now we have a lot of families where they have huge number of kids. One couple having 10 kids or 12 kids is still prevalent. So and in fact there are several causes which give rise to overpopulation. So all those causes need to be handled and it has become uh, an immediate need for, for the survival of living organisms on this earth. So overpopulation needs to be handled. Agriculture. So another cause is agriculture. Now we want to increase the crop production. We want to produce more and more crops. In fact, that is also for to meet the needs of this overpopulation. So for that purpose also we cut down forests. For human settlements, again, everything is related to overpopulation. When the population is increasing, all the human beings need houses. So from where will you bring houses? So for that you clear off the forests and build more and more buildings. Making furnitures, so that is also a human greed. Fuel. Now you cut down trees and make use of the wood to, to get fuel for yourself. Forest fires. Now sometimes, so these forest fires are not always caused by human beings. That They can occur sometimes naturally as well. But whether it is natural or artificial, one forest fire can destruct the entire forest at one go. Now it has been observed that thousands of trees are lost every year due to forest fires. Now sometimes it happens due to, due to some natural calamity, for example, due to extreme the hot summers or due to extremely cold winters so something of that sort happens so it catch forest fires happen but sometimes it also happens as a result of human activity so when human beings want to destruct the forest so instead of cutting down the trees sometimes just they just fire the entire forest so the forest catches fire and it gets destructed completely so if you talk about this problem of deforestation, it is completely under the control of human beings because all the causes are related to human activity. So we all are responsible for deforestation and we have seen that how deforestation is responsible for so many other environmental issues. So it is high time that we understand the importance of planting trees, we understand the importance of having forests and we follow the rules and we do not result in deforestation. So setting up of industries is again another cause of deforestation. So let us quickly look at the harmful effects of deforestation. What can happen if deforestation continue in this way? Loss of species. Now when we are uh, removing the forests as a whole so we are actually killing all the species for that forest because most of them become I mean lost as they lose their habitat they lose the environment they wanted to stay in. So do you think that a tiger will be able to stay in your house, in your apartment? Not really, because this tiger needs an environment of its kind. It wants the same uh, trees, it wants the same environment, it wants some other animals to be present there for as its food. So if you cut down the forest, the tiger cannot survive on the streets or it cannot survive on in a house the way you do. So that means we actually lose many species which belong to, which was a part of that ecosystem. Soil erosion. Now when we cut down the forests, what happens is like soil remains tightly bound by the roots of the plants. Now when we remove the plants, what happens is the soil becomes very loosely bound. So it gets very easily carried away by water either during rains or during floods. So this results in soil erosion. The soil erosion, what will happen? It will degrade the quality of the soil and that land will no more be good for cultivation purposes. Increased concentration of carbon dioxide. Now plants are those organisms which absorb carbon dioxide. They utilize carbon dioxide from the atmosphere during photosynthesis. Now as I mentioned before also increase in content or increase in concentration of carbon dioxide will lead to greenhouse effect because carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas. Now greenhouse effect will cause global warming and that is a threat to the survival of living beings on earth. Therefore, we do not want the carbon dioxide concentration to increase and for that purpose we need plants. But if we cut down plants, so there is nobody who can utilize the carbon dioxide present in atmosphere. So that means the amount of carbon dioxide will keep on increasing in the atmosphere. Disturb the water cycle. 
Now again, when the plants are not there, again water management will also not happen properly because plants play a very important role in carbon cycle, water cycle, nitrogen cycle. So when there are no plants, in fact, when I say no plants, I mean to say deforestation will gradually lead us to a time when there will be no plants because we are not compensating it in any way. It is not that we are cutting down a forest in one place and we are planting some thousand of trees in some other place. It is not like that. We are just cutting down trees. So we are just reducing the number of trees. Destroy forest ecosystem as I mentioned. So when we destroy the entire forest, all the organisms, living, non-living, everything gets spoiled. So how can we control deforestation? In fact, it is we who can control deforestation completely. So we can stop clearing, cutting, clear cutting of forests. So what we should do is we have to control our needs. We have to also control our greed. And for that, if required, we have to control the way population is increasing so that we can decrease our needs and therefore we will not bother the forest much. Reforestation. Now, if we think that, okay, we are cutting down trees in one particular area due to some or the other need, we what we can do is we can compensate the loss by planting more trees in some other areas. Like you can see that if you look at our roads, so when you look at our highways or our roads, what we can do is on the sides of the highway, we can plant more and more trees so that even amidst the human settlements, we have huge number of trees. So at least some amount of trees will be there to compensate the amount, the carbon dioxide level, to compensate for soil erosion. So all these problems can be managed to some extent if reforestation is also done along with deforestation. Strict rules to prevent unnecessary deforestation. Now, if the rules are strict, then people will be afraid to cut down forests. For example, if the government makes such rules that if you cut one tree, uh, a very huge fine will be imposed on you. In that case, people will be little afraid of such laws and they will not cause deforestation. So how do, now, now that we have discussed about all the environmental issues, so what did we notice? So how do we contribute to environmental problems? Overpopulation, of course, so overpopulation is an important thing which needs to be handled. It is, a, it is the need of the hour. Deforestation by cutting down forests because these are the things which we do as human beings. So we are the ones who can control it as well. Ozone layer depletion, because it is also getting depleted due to the use, overuse of chemicals. Extinction of wildlife, because deforestation in turn results in extinction of wildlife. Disposal of wastes, it is we who dispose wastes at the first level. Excessive use of pesticides. Industrialization, setting up of too much of industries and factories. Unnecessary usage of energy. In fact, that will not be called usage, but you can call that wastage of energy. So these are some of the things which we do and that's how we also contribute to the environmental problems. So what our aim should be that now we should try to control to add on to environmental problems. We should not add on to environmental problems. Rather, we should try to reduce it. So we should try to follow the control measures. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.